this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and in today's video we will be talking about 15 interesting ways how GPT-3 can be put to use. So let's get started. Coming to the first one, GPT-3 has been put to use as a one-stop tool. Shreya Shankar and Bora created the GPT-3 Sandbox. This project is designed to enable users to create cool web demos using the newly released OpenAI GPT-3 API with just a few lines of Python. Requirements to use are API key from the OpenAI API beta invite, Python 3 and YAN. This sandbox project has led to many other demos and applications. Read the full article in the description box below. Moving on for mock-up websites. Developer Jordan Singer used GPT-3 and Figma plugin that takes a URL and a description to generate a website. Something as simple as typing an apple.com-like website for Twitter would also give you a result. Moving on for ML code. Matt, CEO of Otherside AI, has used GPT-3 to generate code for a machine learning model just by describing the dataset and required output. We've already touched upon this before for writing creative fiction. The blog, which goes by the name Guan.net, has used GPT-3 for the most creative purposes. Here's an example where AI plays the role of a grandma. Human, I am feeling bored today. Grandma, tell me a story about the time the cat stole the moon. AI. Okay, let's begin. First, you must know that the sun is actually a cat. Also, you must know that the sun is actually not a cat. But it's also not a piece of cheese or an orange or even a gold ring. Now, take a bite of the orange to refresh yourself. The sun used to live at the top of a green mountain. One day, a hungry cat came to the mountain and climbed up to get the sun. But when the cat got to the top, there was no sun there. There was only a hole that went straight into the sky. The hole was so dark that the cat had no way to go out again. But he wasn't afraid because he knew that he would go back home soon. So the cat climbed down the mountain and took some of the sun with him. GPT-3 has also been used as a layout generator. Sharif Shamim has leveraged GPT-3 to generate code. All he had to do was write a couple of samples to give some context to GPT-3. Shamim tweeted that if he wanted to write output plain HTML CSS instead of JSX, all he would have to do would be to rewrite the two initial samples in the HTML CSS then all of GPT-3's outputs would be in plain HTML CSS. For writing podcasts, Tinker Thinking is a podcast that presents the audience with a wide variety of topics in both audio and text format. For their latest podcast, they invited GPT-3. To make the conversation interesting, Tinker Thinking took their intro paragraph and fed it to GPT-3. On submitting this, GPT-3 generated a continuation of this text given specific parameters like word count. After GPT-3 generated the paragraph, Tinker Thinking picked up from there and again added a paragraph. This went on back and forth throughout the episode. It has also been used for JavaScript API. Antonio Gomez, a senior engineer at Apple, used GPT-3 to produce generative code snippets of the JavaScript API by textually describing the elements and their parameters needed to create a WebGL 3D design. For meme creation, Mrinal Mohit, an ML practitioner, used GPT-3 to generate memes that are contextual and in touch with trends. For legal documents, Michael taught GPT-3 how to turn legalese into simple plain English. All he did was to feed the model with two examples and it generated the text. For generating resumes, Using GPT-3, one just has to enter where they have worked and what did they work, and the API dishes out a decent resume. It has also been used to create search engines. Paris Chopra, the founder of Wingify, used GPT-3 to create a search engine, Ask Me Anything, that functions very smoothly. For generating financial statements, Yash, an undergrad at the University of Waterloo, built a GPT-3 bot that lets people with no accounting knowledge generate financial statements. He created balance sheets by turning everyday language into Python code. For understanding code, Amjad Masad, CEO of Replit, built an application where one can type queries about the code on the go and learn information about the functionality of each item in the code. 
for text completion. Carlos Perez, an ML practitioner, made GPT-3 perform text completion and the combination of style writing and text completion. The styles range from clickbait to neurotic to legalese. Coming to the last point, GPT-3 has also been used for tweeting. Sushant Kumar, the co-founder at Azuro, used GPT-3 to generate tweets that are very similar to those done by humans. Though bots on Twitter is nothing new, the tweets, however, can be identified. Since GPT-3 scraped almost everything on the internet, a bot that sits on GPT-3 can fool the humans relatively better. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science. See you soon. Bye.